Hello everybody, Double J101 back again with another review and today we are taking a look at Rodimus Unicronus. The first of Wave 2 folks, we officially have Wave 2 hitting the stores. This was supposed to happen in April. Well today, it's February and I don't know, it's in stores. It's It blew my mind to even see this on the forums that we actually have Wave 2 hitting the stores. I did pick up a couple more figures so keep your eyes peeled for that. But first let's go ahead and take a look at this leader. Now this is Rodimus Unicronus. The evolution figure leader class, of course, the same as the original Rodimus Prime that was released in Wave 1. On the front of the package, we have a fantastic picture of Rodimus Unicronus here holding the Matrix of Chaos. And in the side of the box, you can see we have the, the gun right about here and the Matrix of Chaos there. On the side, we have a picture of Nemesis Hot Rod. And on the back, we have both pictures of Rodimus Unicronus and Nemesis Hot Rod in their robots, as well as their vehicle modes. As for the description of the figure, we have Rodimus Unicronus. When the heroic Hot Rod is corrupted by the Matrix of Chaos, he evolves to Rodimus Unicronus, a servant of evil driven by a sole purpose, destroy the Matrix of Leadership. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this box, get this sweet looking figure out, and get him into his vehicle mode. And here we have Rodimus Unicronus outside of his box and in his Winnebago vehicle mode. Now this guy is fantastic. I don't know much about the lore that is surrounded by the Cronus figures. I know this had to do with the fun pub publications i think they were the guys who did the transformers fan club they would make a shattered glass alternate universe where the autobots were decepticons the decepticons were autobots and this was their rendition of what happened to rodimus but I, I, like i said i don't know anything about really the story on that but man this figure is so so sweet i mean some of the the coloring on this and the stickers the stickers like look at these flames right here these flames are so detailed now they're not they're, i mean they don't have a better application of stickers than the like the original one does and as you can see the stickers are kind of off center they're not cut correctly mostly but still overall this figure is just painted just awesome and it, it solves all the paint problems that i had with the original the original there was two tones of red this one is just all black there's no difference at all between the colors it's it's just great there's metallic purple on the top of the vehicle there's some purple in the vents on the side right there and i mean even on the bottom it just it, i don't know just the figure all together is just great now in addition with the figure inside the box of course comes the instructions which are the exact same instructions that came with rodimus prime it's it's just a different color variation uh, I don't even know if they, they, I mean, they changed the picture a little bit with the different parts of the mold on the front here, but that's about it. I mean, like I said, it's the same exact transformation, just a different figure. We also have his weapon, which the weapon is the exact same mold. No differences between the two, between him and Rodimus Prime. And we also have the Matrix of Chaos. Now, this Matrix of Chaos is pretty sweet as well. As you, you can't tell, the coloring in the middle... It is a orangish color, as well as purple on the sides. And you can always, like the other one, you can pop this out as so. And insert any Prime Master you have or any other Enigma right here in the middle and go with that. Now also, here is the comparison between the two of the Matrix of Leadership and Matrix of Chaos. Lastly, in the box comes his collector's card. This one is the Micronus card, which, as you can tell, power links with bots to consume their spark. We actually opened Micronus not too long ago on the channel. If you want to check that channel out, I'll go ahead and link it at the end of this video. Now, for comparison with another figure, let's go ahead and bring Rodimus Prime in before he gets turned into his evil counterpart. So the only differences that you can tell between them are the stickers. We'll take a look here at the front. And it's just a cool looking logo on the new one. On the sides we have these stickers. Sticker differential with the flames in the back. As well as, of course, there's the Autobot logo here and Decepticon logo. And the Decepticon logo is surprisingly bigger than the Autobot one. 
And it's not only because the Decepticon one is cut wrong, it just looks like a bigger sticker in general. And we have the same on this side. And of course, over here, you can tell that sticker is as usual. And down here, we have in the vents, we have no differential color here, it's just orange. And we have the purple down here. And the back, the feet are different, just a gray compared to a red. But overall, that is the difference in color between the two. So now let's go ahead and get Nemesis Hot Rod into his robot mode. So let's go ahead and crack open the top piece of this Winnebago and separate right here on the side. We do the same thing. Separate this, bring that up, and disconnect right here. Bring that back. And we can disconnect there and disconnect. And we can set that aside. Now, again, this is the exact same transformation as my Rodimus Prime video. So if you have seen this, there is no difference. Now with this vehicle, let's go ahead and separate the back back here. Just like I said before, this is a little bit tough. You don't want to break anything. So you need to be very careful when you separate the legs and not cause too many stress marks. Fold that up, get that out of the way. Down here, you open up the shins, bring the feet out on both sides. Disconnect the shoulders to bring this down and out of the way. You're going to fold this piece down right here, bring the head out of the chest and swivel around, click up in. Take these arms, disconnect at the elbows, maybe. I feel like this side was the rough one on my other figure as well. Bring that down on the back back here. You're going to, you're going to rotate this on the back and bring this up. Peg in right about there. And there you have Nemesis Hot Rod in his robot mode. So just like with the other figure, you can take the gun, separate it, and peg into his hands like so. Which leaves Nemesis Hot Rod ready to go for battle. Now for a closer look at Nemesis Hot Rod, you can see that he has the purple and gray stickers. We have the black and gray color scheme throughout, as well as the color on his back is an orange tint to the cockpit. As for his face, you can see his eyes have a nice reddish tint, as any Decepticon does. And we have purple, and we have purple and black paint on the top of his head, as well as a gray spoiler in the back. Now to bring in Hot Rod, we can get a nice color differential between the two and see the evolution from Hot Rod to Nemesis Hot Rod. We see the color differential here in the chest, as well as the decal difference. We have the paint difference in the face, the hands, the arms, and in the back with the spoilers, as well as the windshield. There are also stickers back here on the calves of Hot Rod, just right about there. With the difference between him and Nemesis Hot Rod, we have stickers that kind of just flow, in, flow from the top to the side instead of not being right on the calf itself. The other difference between the two are with the stickers on the shins, we have a yellow, orange, and red with a silver sticker here on the front of Hot Rod as we have a dark purple, blue, and a light purple. A different design on the shins for Nemesis Hot Rod. Now let's go ahead and get Nemesis Hot Rod into Rodimus Unicronus. First, what we'll do is pull this down here. We are going to swivel around once again, put his head in there, click that back up. So we take his arms, fold them up like so, to get them out of the way. You bring down this piece as so after you fold the legs up. If your legs stay intact, mine keep coming undone, at least the one over here on this side does, which is really annoying, but it's something I guess I just have to deal with. It's even down all the way. I, I, I may take a little, little something to it maybe to try to get it to work correctly, but right now I'm just going to have to deal with it. Fold those up, bring this down, make sure the arms are in the right location, bring this down like so, rotate around, and you have the top piece almost ready to go. Now we just need to bring in the arms. 
which are the top piece here, of course. Just kind of pull out of the back of the Winnebago. Take the hands, disconnect that piece, rotate it up, click it in, fold this up, and you attach right here on the leg. Takes a little bit of effort, just like the other one. Not much design difference between the two figures besides the coloring. And for the right arm, do the same thing. Fold that up, click it in, rotate this up, and hopefully a little easier than the first to connect. There we go. Now the top half of Rodimus Unicronus is finished. Now to move on to the legs. For the legs, you're gonna take the feet, disconnect right there. Make sure these are actually back and pegged in. Looks like I already did that on mine. You're gonna disconnect right there. This piece, separate, fold all the way around like so to be able to bring this up, bring this down, and right here, bring it down. A nice wide opening, just like the last figure. You bring this down, rotate around, fold this up. Down here for the feet, you're going to bring the heels out. Disconnect the legs, bring the skirt down. Now, if you have the Matrix of Chaos readied and available, we'll go ahead and peg it right there in his chest. Next, you're going to take the lower half of the body and the top half. You're going to slide this right on in. There are two slots back here in the back. Bring this on down. Line this up. And you're going to hear a click. Bring the front half of the torso down. And if you have it all lined up, you should be able to say you are finished and ready to go. Rodimus Unicronus in his robot mode. And now we have Rodimus Unicronus in his robot mode. There is just a few differences between Rodimus Prime and Rodimus Unicronus between their molds. Not much at all. The only things I've really noticed are the head, the facial sculpt, and the crest on his head. The paint difference on his chest here. And really, that's about all I've noticed. Not much else at all different with this guy. Just an overall sweet looking figure. Really, my only complaint about this guy is probably just because of the one I got. I have had a lot of issues getting him transformed. Had to do a lot of cuts in this because of pieces falling apart. Pieces coming undone, not staying together correctly, and just the looseness of this figure. He does not feel as complete nor well put together as Rodimus did. And Rodimus had a lot of issues. But this figure I've noticed just... It's probably just mine. But I have noticed a lot of issues just getting him together. And for comparison between the two, you can see Rodimus here and his evil counterpart. You can tell the paint differences and the small differences in the face not too much of a difference but they are significant for what they are we must also remember that he did include a weapon which pegs nicely into his hands and makes him set up and ready to go overall i really do like rodimus unicronus the difference in paint the detail to this figure and the mold differences with the face really add a different feel to Rodimus. And the coherency with the coloring really helps as well. Now I can kind of get past that just because of how cool this figure is. It still irks me though that it's a $45 figure and we have these issues. Overall though I really hope everybody enjoyed my video. If you did leave me a like, subscribe if you feel so inclined, and look forward to more Wave 2 Power of the Primes coming your way. Thanks again for watching.